What's up YouTube, Jeff from The Graph Life here. Um, I'm all canada out, got my Blue Jays hat, Canada shirt on, uh, and I held out a TTM from my last recap video, and the reason for that is, well, it's coming from, you guessed it, Canada. Um, so I kind of wanted to show this off, but also um, give you not only insight on how to write to Canada if you're from the US, um, and also, there's kind of an ethics thing I wanted to go over. Um, so I guess first I'm gonna I'm gonna show how you would write it. Uh, the what you would need is you know some regular U.S. forever stamps. You need two of those, and they would go on the envelope to go to Canada. Uh, but your return envelope, so this one obviously is returned to me. You would need Canadian stamps. You need two of them uh, to get returned to you. Now, I picked these up, uh, I believe there, yeah, there was only 10 of these, and I think it cost me $12 American, so kind of expensive. I picked these up in Canada, uh, but you can, I believe, order them online. You can get everything online, so I'm pretty sure you can get those online. So two U.S. forever stamps to get it to Canada, then two Canadian stamps uh, to get them back, um, and these are the uh, permanent stamps. I believe it's the same thing as a forever. I'm not really sure. Uh, they have a little P on them. I don't know if you can see that. A little P in the corner. I don't know if it's going to focus. Uh, maybe, maybe not. What? Whoa. Anyway, there's a little P. That's what this little thing is there. Um, you know, ours say forever. They say permanent. Uh, that's how you'll get it back. And I always wondered, you know, because there were times where I would put two US stamps on my return envelope thinking like that's what you do and I'd never get returns and I've been seeing these returns from from uh, hockey players mostly in Canada and they'd never come back so then I started sending uh, extra money uh, I'd send you know three three dollars you know hoping that that'd be enough to cover it and I'm pretty sure it is I mean I'm not positive but I do know that American currency is worth more in Canada it's not always accepted uh, everywhere though so that was the reason why I picked these stamps up, thinking, okay, that'll alleviate that. Um, and then the, I'm not going to show exactly who this is yet, uh, but it did come with a note. Uh, and all my cards were signed, so this is kind of where the ethics thing comes in. Uh, it's a former hockey player, and uh, he signed my cards. It said, thank you for staying a fan. So obviously he's been retired for a few years now. Uh, we ask in return... Uh, for the autograph that you uh, received, if you consider making a donation to the charity that is very close to this player's heart, um, which I was actually, you know, amazed that I got all three of my cards signed without sending a donation. I was unaware uh, that this charity even existed. It said uh, the Breaking Free Foundation's goal is to help make trauma healing more accessible for everyone. Uh, one of the ways in which they're doing this is through their therapy grant program which allows approved candidates to receive designated therapy services paid for via this foundation. The model differs from other free counseling services because the foundation pays the trauma therapist their regular fee to ensure that the clients are receiving the best possible quality of therapy. The foundation only works with therapists who are trauma trained and specialized in this type of work. Healing is possible and the tools and resources to help should be available for everyone. If you're interested in donating, please go to the Breaking Free Foundation.ca slash donate dash now. Thank you. So, Breaking Free Foundation, I'm, I'm going to make a donation. I did not know uh, that he required a donation. Maybe he doesn't require it, but I don't care. He sent me the information. I'm He signed all three of my cards. I'm going to make uh, a donation. I'll go to the website. Uh, but Mr. Theo Fleury uh, signed three of three. There he is on the uh, upper deck. Then I got him on a uh, Pacific and also on uh, this Opeachy Premier. So love getting the old hockey players. Uh, hopefully this helps you out with, uh, you know, how to send to Canada. And I hope that if this ever happens to you, if you guys get your cards back and they ask for a donation, that you do send one. I mean, they, they did their part. Now do yours always give back. Uh, as long as, I mean, as long as it isn't like over the top. 
Like Roger Clemens requires a donation, but it's going straight to his pocket. I mean, a hundred dollars for a card. I, I don't know. It, there's there's got to be something behind that. There's no way uh, that that's going to any kind of you know good cause. This charity though sounds like a great cause. I'm gonna donate. Uh, even the old time players, five dollars a card, ten dollars. That's fine. But a hundred's a little excessive. Uh, so I don't know. I just think that it's it's good to send them. Uh, and hopefully you guys learned how to send to Canada if you're in the U.S. Uh, there's also world stamps. Uh, I'm not sure if those work. I'm sure they do. I just, I've never used them before. So uh, maybe I will in the future. My post office does not have them though. So I have to find a different post office in the area. Hopefully they have them and I'll do a video on that. But Canadian stamps to get it back to the United States, U.S. stamps to get it to Canada. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. This uh, success came back uh, in about six months. So Either he gets a lot of requests, or he waits till he gets quite a few and only gets to his mail every so often. Not sure, but glad they came back. Hopefully this helps you guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.